Here we are now, December the 9th, 2011. This is Abraham Weisfeld speaking. I am going to be making a audio recording of the uh, narrative for a documentary subject on civil resistance in the world movement. We are traveling to the village of Kufer Kadum, along 14 kilometers of a single lane route, which is used to reach the village in spite of the highway running nearby. Access to the highway is prevented by the military forces of the State of Israel, who respond to the call of the Zionist colony implanted next to the village. Regular Friday demonstrations are attacked with tear gas in a weekly ritual that blocks access to the highway in spite of the Israel Supreme Court ruling ordering the opening of this access route to the village. While the September 23, 2011 demonstration proceeded without any military intervention during the presentation of the Palestine President to the General Assembly of the United Nations, other Fridays have been met by up to 30 soldiers ready to fire off all the high-velocity tear gas canisters that they can carry. Their interventions resemble pogroms that enter inside the village to confront the youth, Shabab, who throw rocks that barely reach the soldiers. The stone throwers are used as a pretext to attack the village as if the Zionist forces will convince the villagers to move out of their village, even though no other country accepts Palestinian refugees. The external refugees already number 7 million in various countries like Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and some few in the USA, Canada, and Europe. Another village, Kusra, was attacked by the so-called settlers who came to destroy their olive orchards, while the military blocked the youth from driving them off and entered their village as well. Live fire is used that day, September 23rd, when Mohammed Abbas was to speak at the United Nations General Assembly and killed a father of seven children. Three others were hit by rubber projectiles. One can see here a Red Crescent ambulance ready for any injuries that come although it is turned back by the line of soldiers from reaching a villager who had been injured while under fire from a gra gas projectile. I will repeat that sentence. One can see here a Red Crescent ambulance ready for any injuries to come, although it is turned back by a line of soldiers from reaching a villager who had been injured while under fire from a gas projectile. He had been detained arrested, well, without charge, under what is called administrative detention. The young Palestinians are become sophisticated in the use of internet media and are broadcasting live from the demonstration. The Occupy Wall Street demonstrators are using the same media and we can see the NYPD, New York Police Department, arresting numerous people who claim the right to freedom of expression according to the U.S. constitutional provisions. The police are much the same. At the demonstration in Kufar Kadum, we can see at the end of the demonstration when the Zionist militia is returning back to their barracks for the Sabbath, which they don't seem to be no which they don't... One can see... Okay, I'll repeat that phrase for the end of the Kufr Kadum video. One can see at the end of the demonstration and the repression by the Zionist forces, the soldiers are waiting to return to their barracks or their village for the Sabbath, which they do not seem to know the significance of, and are retreating once again and yet being prepared to attack once more. 
This weekly ritual is without end until we end it.